Good morning, everyone. Happy energy reading. I'm Terry. It's so great to see you. We have a weekday energy reading. So that's going to go from Monday to Thursday. These are also timeless readings, which means if you're not watching it this week, whenever you do watch it, the message will resonate with you at that time. That's the beauty of these messages. So I do want to let you know that these readings are for the collective. So some of this information may resonate with you, some may not. So keep what does, toss what doesn't. And if you would like something more personal, more private, you're more than welcome to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me directly from my site, terryhuberman.com. So when I tapped into the energy of this week, I heard two words and I got this amazing sensation feeling. And those two words were choice and friendship. And the feeling that I got was the real depth and um, comfort and security in a really good friendship. So as I looked further and deeper into that, um, and what I am currently channeling, what comes through is that this week we are going to have choices in how we maintain friendships and how we let go of friendships and choose new friendships for this week. Now, these are, are some of these friendships may be heart link connection friendships, which means you actually love your friends. Um, the majority of this is for platonic, though, uh, friendships. Now, here's the interesting thing is that choice comes in in regards to what level we want to have our friendships at. There are going to, <laughs> there are going to be situations this week that are going to test our friendships, that are going to test us personally and test our friendships. And really what it's going to come down to is how will each of us individually respond to those tests or what happens during that test, okay? So really that's where choice comes in. It's in regards to how will we respond to whatever happens. Now, I do feel like there is going to be loss of friendship this week, so I don't wanna take this lightly at all when I say this. So on some level, this could be a heads up buttercup alert kind of week where you will really be able to see who your true friends are, what their true colors are as well. But there's also this veil that you may not have um, really seen before in terms of the truth of either your friendship or your friend. So in other words, you will be seeing, the veil will be lifted, you will be seeing how your friend really is or how your friends really are. And I do feel like for those of you that have that heart link connection, this could be some sadness. Um, I don't want to say betrayal. That's very, very dramatic. But for some of you, there may be some betrayal. But really, ultimately, what this feels like is that there was a veil over you. Uh, you can call it a filter, maybe, that perhaps um, you didn't see the truth of how your friend is or how the friendship actually is. So how do you want to respond to this is really for this particular situation is really what you're being called to do, right? Now, here's the thing. There are different levels of friendships. So you can still maintain a friendship with somebody, even if it is um, on a different level than it used to be. That, of course, takes some time and finesse to cultivate and to sort of reintegrate both parties' energies into this new status, right? So there is shift and change among friendships this week. So, um, you know, just do your best to feel your way through the situation instead of think your way through the situation. Your feelings will help you in terms of your responses, Okay, so let me pick some cards here and see how we can navigate our way through this experience with our friends. And then, of course, I will do a reveal like I always do. 
Um, the usual, nothing different other than, you know, I just channel some energy at the very, very beginning. And then we use the cards for implementation tools, okay? So let us see, I've got my last card here. I choose from four decks. Let us see what this last uh, maneuvering, how are we gonna navigate our way through this experience? All right, I've got my four cards, let's do a reveal. We have the six of clubs. Six represents working with other people. Clubs to me represent the physical world. We have El Sol, beautiful. We have, whoops, children, yes. Okay, I see how this is all coming together and messenger of air. So this is the energy that we're working with in regards to our friendships and how we're gonna navigate our way through our friendships. We have messenger of air, children, L, soul, and six of clubs. Okay, so this really, this in particular has to do with the heart link connection um, the heart link connection friendships. Okay. So this is a, a bit of a deeper connection that you have with a friend of yours. Um, this weekend, or I'm sorry, this week, cause this is a week day reading, not weekend. Um, this week is going to definitely get, uh, be challenging because what's going to happen is as human beings in the third dimensional reality, we have a tendency to take as the truth whatever it is that we see with our human physical eye, right? I mean, it's just normal. And with the world of duality and polarity, we're gonna notice the opposites and, and always struggle with what should I do, what shouldn't I do? Well, because we are dealing with others in the physical reality, um, and because of po polarity and duality, the ego is going to be flared and we will be acting from our childlike self, childish, excuse me, childish, not childlike, childish, ish, ish. Childish is different than childlike. Childlike is just having the flair, essence, or flavor of being a child, where childish is actual immaturity in acting and being like an immature child, not having that maturity. So this week, we could have a lot of flare-ups. Um, not we, we could, we will. And it's going to be really, really important. Remember how I um, mentioned earlier our responses? We're going to have to really, really come and check with our ego to see where are we coming from when we are noticing these things about our friends or when we're trying to have a conversation with our friends. Are we trying to be right instead of are we trying to really listen to what they have to say? And again, this is going to, it takes two for any kind of friendship or partnership or relationship, there's two parties involved. It's not just one person, right? So this is gonna be two people in physical reality dealing with two egos trying to make this work. Now, can it work? Absolutely, it can work. Communication will need to be had. So if you're feeling like you don't wanna communicate, well, guess what, buttercup? You will be put in a position where you do have to have a conversation with this person, with this friend of yours. And it's not gonna be easy and it could very well be hurtful. But if you don't come from a place where you're trying to be right, and you're just trying to work things out and you take your response slow, and you listen to what they have to say and you ingest it before you just verbally vomit it uh, res verbally vomit a response back this there will be victory in this conversation okay so you know you're teetering on do i lose this really close friend or do i not lose this really close friend and it does feel like you know, it has to do with your maturity level and where are you coming from. So that's going to take a sense of you coming online, you becoming aware of what your agenda is. So maybe that's a better way of saying it. When you respond, um, you know, really sit with where am I coming from? What is my agenda with this? Um, because with hurt feelings come hurt behaviors, right? Hurt people hurt people. 
right? So, so there is an opportunity for victory, which is fan freaking tastic. But the thing is, is that you have to not be childish about this. You have to really be open. You have to be honest and, um, you have to actually be empathetic as well which may be hard because your ego is like trying to defend itself, trying to survive and trying to, you know, get itself out of way of feeling uncomfortable. So it is hard to be empathetic at the same time, but you know, this is not going to be an easy week for friendships. Friendships will be tested. That's just the way it is, right? But yes, you can have victory. Yes, you can get through this. And yes, it is going to take a sense of communication, open communication. So listen, and then respond. Don't respond and then listen. Listen, then respond. That's how you will be more of an adult in this situation. All right, guys? What am I always saying to you? Stay connected. Stay connected to your friends and family. Stay connected to yourself. And of course, you can stay connected to me. You can check me out at terryhuberman.com. And if you're looking for community, if you're looking for tips and tricks and hints and how to get out of indecision and into your intuition, I've created a community for like-minded people where we all get together. There are workshops, there are other energy sessions and exclusive content that I've created just for you guys where we can really have some live interaction in that real community feel, which is really nice. And that's on Patreon. So you can check out my Patreon. You just go to patreon.com slash intuitive coach Terry, or you can just check out the link in my bio. If you're watching this on Instagram, or if you're watching this even on YouTube or any other social media, I'll make sure that you put the link that the link is below. So you can join that community, right? Be part of some, something with other people and, um, get out of indecision, get into that intuition of yours, develop and grow it. All right, guys. And I'll see you on the flip side.